Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Maths Mathis Olympia class. And today we shall be considering about three or four questions. The first one says 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x equals 4 raised to power x. Find x. So 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x equals 4 raised to power x. So since we have 12 raised to power x in three places, we can just use the 3 as a coefficient. Then 3 into bracket 12 raised to power x plus bracket equals 4 raised to power x. So we divide both sides by 12 raised to power x. 12 raised to power x, we cancel 12 raised to power x at the left side. So we have 3 equals 4 raised to power x divided by 12 raised to power x. So we have 3 equals 4 raised to power x over 12 raised to power x. So since we have 3 equals 4 raised to power x divided by 12 raised to power x, we can just reduce then we can since they have x as common powers we can just bring out the common powers x so we have 3 equals 4 over 12 then this to power x then we can reduce 4 over 12 to 1 over 3 4 and 4 is 1 4 and 12 is 3 so 3 equals 1 over 3 raised to power x so since 1 over a equals a minus 1 and then 1 over 3 equals 3 minus 1. So 3 equals 3 raised to power minus 1 times x. Now, we, since we have 3 equals 3 raised to power minus 1, then the minus 1 multiply x. Then since they have the same base, we can just equate the powers. So we have and 3 at the left side is raised to power 1. So we have 1 equals minus 1 times x. So 1 equals minus x. So if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we have x equals minus 1. The second question is square root of 3 raised to power x raised to power 3 equals 81 raised to power 2x. So for x. So we have square root of 3 raised to power x raised to power 3 equals 81 raised to power 2x. Now we change the square root to 3 raised to the power of then x raised to the power 3 because 3 into 4 places will give us 81 then raised to the power 2 x. The half there is the square root of 3. So it's the same thing. The square root of 3 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of then raised to the power x raised to the power 3 then equals 3 raised to the power 4 which is 81 then raised to the power 2 x. So we have 3 raised to power half, then x raised to power 3 equals 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2x. We multiply the half by x raised to power 3 on the left side, we have 3 raised to power x raised to power 3 divided by 2. That is x raised to power 3 times 1 is x raised to power 3 divided by 2. So we have 3 raised to power x raised to power 3 divided by 2 equals 3 raised to power 
8x that is 4 times 2 x is 8x so with the base since the base are equal can you quit the power so we have x raised to power 3 over 2 equals 8x so we have if you cross multiply we have x raised to power 3 equals 8x times 2 the dot here is multiplication Uh, we have x raised to power 3 plus 16x that is 8x times 2 16 x so if we collect the like times we have x raised to power 3 minus 16 equals 0 or we minus 16 from both sides we have x raised to power 3 minus 16x equals 0 so if we factor out x we have x into back x squared at uh, minus 16 equals 0 So we can locate our x to 0, then x squared minus 16 also equals 0. So plus 16 to both sides, we have x squared equals 16, or take minus 16 to the other side, it becomes plus 16. So we have x squared equals 16. So we take the square root of both sides. We have square root we cancel square. We have x equals plus or minus 4. Square root of 16 is 4. So x equals 4 or x equals minus 4. Number one exercise, square root of 6 raised to power x divided by 4 equals square root of 3 raised to power x. Number two, 2 raised to power x plus 2x, 2 raised to power x plus 3 equals 9. Number three, x raised to power 2x raised to power 6 equals 3. You know, find x. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and then click the notification subscription and like button for more of this to meet next class.